Okay, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to shade a figure that you've created in Desmos. Now, I'm not going to, in this particular screencast, I'm not going to show you how to create the figure. I did that in a previous video, um, but I'm going to show you how to shade in between. Okay, so let's get started. Now, it's probably, you can't really do this all in one fell swoop, okay? It's probably best to do these in sections. It's something like I tell my students, difficult problems are really just a series of simple problems that you stack on top of one another. So I think in this particular video, we're going to shade this half first, and then we're going to shade this half second. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you'll notice that each one of these lines this red line, purple line, green line, blue line, was all created with equalities, right? With an equation. And then I limited the domain up here, the x value, which means I limited how far it will go along the x axis, right? Nothing, nothing greater than negative 4 in that direction, or less than negative 4, and nothing greater than 0 up here, for example, in the red. Now, what I want to do is I want to change these to any quality. So let me just copy that real quick. Let me put it down here and I'm going to change this to an inequality. And you'll see what happens. Let me just change that. It's a little bit dark. Let me change that to that color. You'll see that the shading now goes from everything that's less than x plus 4, which is this line, and it shades down. Now how do I get it to go down to here? So what I want to do is I want to take this particular line and then shade everything up, right? And remember, this line here was this one. So I'm going to take the equation part of the x, negative x minus 4. Let me just copy that. And I'm going to go down here and create what's called a compound inequality. Now remember, that just means that um, you have two basically sets of instructions within the inequality. So let me put that in there and then let me make, uh, sorry, let me try that one more time. Let me put that there. And let me put it right there. There we go. Now look what I did. Let me just go ahead and highlight the inequality part. I'm saying that everything between negative x minus 4 which is right here, I want to go greater than. The y is going to be greater than that, right? So that's what this means. And then everything from x plus 4, which is up here, I want everything down below. And again, I'm limited by the same domain. And see what I did. I was able to actually just shade that half of my diamond or of my figure. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the second two, or the second half of my figure, which is over here, and which is these two equations, the purple, you can see it, and the green line, which you can see as well. So let me just go ahead and take my green equation, let me copy it real quick, and I'm going to put it down here, and instead of an equality, let me make it an inequality, and again, whoops, let me do it this way. There we go, because I want it to shade up into the figure, so I did that. And I'm going to go take the purple part, which is my last part, and just that section of those sets of instructions, okay? Let me just copy that. And I'm going to put it in front of the Y. But don't forget, I also need to change the inequality, so I'm going to put the plus. I have all the inequalities pointing in the same direction. And there it is. Now I've shaded the entire figure. The other nice thing I can do here is I can go back and change the color so that the shading is all exactly the same. Okay. Now you'll notice that these two compound inequalities is enough to create the shaded figure. I actually don't need these guys anymore, which was my original uh, my original lines that we're creating here. Now notice that the lines are broken here. If I wanted to change that, I would just go down here. Let me find my... There we go. I'm going to change that to greater, less than, or equal to, and you'll notice that the line now becomes solid. Same thing with this one. Line becomes solid. 
this one one becomes solid and this one one becomes solid and that's how you shade a figure in desmos hope that was helpful